as, I, as Susie said, I was just appointed as the, uh, as the general director. I've been on for a short time. And for me, this is the first conference, but this is the fifth uh, annual Herbert M. Singer conference. And, uh, and we're happy to do this, and we're going to keep doing it. Uh, what the Taub Center is, is what it does, for those of you who don't know, it's a social policy think tank, which is um, funded originally by the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee. It was created in 1982. Uh, no longer funded by them, but it's a, com it's a completely apolitical and a completely unbiased source of information. Um, and that's completely um, not connected to the government, no funding from the government, no funding from any kind of government agencies. So that we can put out and continue to put out completely independent and unbiased uh, reports. We, um, we, we focus on five different fields. The fields we focus on are labor markets, macroeconomic policy, welfare, education, and what you're all here for today, which is health. Uh, by being able to pull this out, uh, put out this um, wonderful information and these outstanding research studies, we are able to affect policy very significantly, and we are, have a very good discourse with politicians and with policymakers and with the entire uh, public. Um, what, what the Taub Center does, what its aim is, is to basically serve as a mirror. And as a mirror, it basically picks up the mirror in front of the policymaker and says, take a really good hard look at yourself. By picking up a mirror, what you see inside a mirror, if it's a clear and completely undistorted mirror, then what you see is you see everything. You see what's good and you see what's not so good. You see what's working well, and those are the things that you should continue doing. And you, th you see what's not working well, and those are the things that you have to work on improving. By giving a clear and undistorted picture, we feel that the Taub Center can have an even greater impact than it's had until now, continue to grow in, in its work, and, um, and, and because you're giving a, uh, an undistorted picture, what you say is actually accepted a lot more and believed a lot more. So that's our goal, is to do that. Um, we disseminate our information in various ways. We have a lot of publications. We put out policy papers. We put out briefs. We have graphic book booklets, as you saw outside. We have our, our uh, main, main uh, product is our State of the Nation book that comes out every year towards the end of the year. You're going to hopefully all see it fairly soon, uh, you know, another, another, less than two months. And, um, and we also uh, have engaged a lot of Israel's youth, the future leaders of the, of the country, by meeting them in all kinds of interesting places like pubs and by creating infographics and creating all kinds of games on the computer that they can play, things that will teach them about what's going on in Israel. So dissemination is a very, very important part of what we do. But it's not just dissemination, obviously, to the young groups, but it's dissemination to the, to the policymakers. And on a regular basis, policymakers come to talk with us. They turn to us with questions. They come to, see, to, to understand and learn about what we're doing. And this has a very, very great effect on what they, on what they do. And very often you see uh, standing in the Knesset somebody holding our book and saying, but it's, here's, here's what the Taub Center has found. So the, the ability to affect policy is what makes our work so important. Um, so among the things that we do are these conferences. And as, as uh, Susie said, this is the fifth conference. And it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to bring really the top people, the most knowledgeable people in the field uh, to share their ideas with one another and to learn from one another. And that's what this is all about. Um, so here we have today with us, we have physicians, we have, health, we have um, leaders of health funds, we have people from hospitals, we have uh, government, government ministers and elected representatives. And of course, we have economists and non-economists. I'm, I'm one of the former, and, uh, and, and health policy experts. Uh, they come from leading universities in Israel, from leading institutes in Israel, and from leading universities abroad. And we'd like to welcome our guests from, uh, from abroad, who, from whom we're going to hear soon. Um, OK, so certainly there's no issue that's more universal and more important than caring about our, our, our health. That's certainly the thing that's always uh, in our minds. Um, certainly, uh, uh, as we grow older, that certainly becomes even more uh, important. Now, there's been a huge shift over the decades, over the years, in what the health services have been trying to do. So we've moved from a situation where, quite a while ago, but that the main concern was always about contagious diseases. And when you're worried about contagious diseases, what you're worried about is you're worried about what's happening to the entire population. And you're worried about what an economist would call 
a negative externality, how one affects the other, how what you have affects what other people have, and therefore it becomes very, very much a, a public issue. And we've moved away from that towards more chronic conditions, uh, which include lifestyle issues, which include things like nutrition and, and fitness, which is a very, very personal issue and not necessarily one with, a, with very large negative externalities. So that changes the focus of things um, in a very, very major way and changes the way that markets are very often organized and therefore, it brings into, um, into, into um, fact that the roles of the different partners change. You go from a situation where you might have more government involvement to a little bit less government involvement to a point where people have to take care of themselves more, and you have the roles blurring. It's not clear sometimes who's supposed to be doing what, and that's a lot of what we'll be, we're going to be doing here. So you go from a situation where two decades ago, about 68% of the, of the uh, funding on um, health care was funded by the government, and today it's under 60%. Now that's a significant change. If you look at the, at the uh, OECD, it actually went up a little bit from like 71 to 72 or something along those lines percent, and, and, and here it's actually gone down. Um, now, it's not just the, the, the people who are paying for it. So you have people paying for it on the two sides. You've also got the providers in the middle. Now, the providers play a very, very pivotal role. If once they were just reacting to what existed, today they're actually very proactive. They're taking steps to try to help people become healthier, teaching them about nutrition, giving them programs in order to, to, not, get, uh, to not get sick, to be able to live longer. By doing that, they're not just improving their, uh, their, their lives, they're also lowering costs for everybody because if people are healthier, then costs are lower. So they play, play a very, very important act in creating programs that are very, very widely used. Um, interestingly, um, you know, a positive uh, um, fact that, was, that I just saw yesterday uh, came out, I think, two days ago. Uh, the, the, the new Bloomberg ranking of countries, of how healthy the country is, ranks Israel as the sixth healthiest country out of 145 countries they, they ranked. The sixth healthiest country in the world, Singapore, is number one. Um, uh, just to tell Helen, Australia is number three. So, uh, <laughs> um, so, so actually, you know, that, that, that's actually very, very positive news. But, of course, it's not the only piece of news. There's a lot to be talked about, and that's what we're going to be doing here. And what I'd like to do is wish everybody here a very, very interesting and educational um, conference. And I'm here to learn, and I expect to learn a lot today. Uh, let me end by, by um, talking about another thing that's very important. The Taub Center relies heavily on its board of directors. The board of directors is very, very interactive with us. I just spoke with the chairman yesterday. We, we are very, very much in sync, and the conversations are very important and very useful. Um, we are honored and thrilled to have with us uh, Helen Abelis, who's one of our chairmen, She's the vice chair currently, and, um, and she's visiting us from Australia. I, I actually can't find the page on which it's all written, but she's, a, she's, she's a <laughs> the head of our governance, I think, uh, of ch uh, chair, and the vice chair of the, of the board, and, uh, and she comes to Israel a lot. And the reason she comes to Israel a lot is she has children and grandchildren here. So we are always happy when Helen comes. And I'm very, very honored and pleased to be able to invite her to, uh, to speak now. Thank you all very much, and enjoy your day.